Hey there, Lee Craft here, back at you with another review. And um, yeah, so still down here at a hotel in, uh, in Florida. And if you look outside, you can kind of see the weather being the weather. Um, so yeah, anyway, get this. So let's say that you are uh, getting ready to you know, get your swole on and you need something to get you pumped up before you go to the gym, the mediocre gym you have in your hotel or whatever gym you normally go to. I normally go to a different gym. There's one down here, but it will remain unnamed uh, because you don't need to know where gym I go to. Um, but it's a nice gym, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> um, so what we're gonna review today is uh, something that is supposed to help you get ready to get that swole on. And it is Verb Energy, uh, Verb Energy Bars. And I don't know if it's gonna focus on it right. There you go, yep. And this flavor is pumpkin spice latte. And um, yeah, so I'll read you what it's all about. And from what I understand, it is like the uh, energy, uh, it's an energy bar. So it's like those hiking gel uh, goo energy things. It's caffeine. Sorry about that jump cut there. Uh, somebody came through and just needed to pause it for a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, so it's like those hiking goos um, that a lot of hikers and cyclists, people that run, that they, they just pop in their bag and when they're tired, when they need a little pick me up while they're down on the trail, they just tear open and throw back. Um, and having been an avid hiker for most of my life and uh, doing all kinds of other sporting stuff for most of my life, I've got a lot of experience with a lot of those different types of things. So this I'm pretty excited about uh, because if it's perfect for that, it's nice, nice size, fit in your bag, um, and if it's good, I'm down to grab them and keep them in my bag, keep them on hand whenever I need to go for a run or um, if I'm about to go into a tournament and I'm a little tired, uh, Taekwondo, fencing, uh, historic fencing, wrestling, ringing, um, something like that, long sword, uh, rapier, um, karate, MMA, any of that, great to have on hand, I'm sure, because uh, I know those goos are and they're a little messy. These I know aren't that messy. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this out, check it out, see what it tastes like. Um, this flavor is pumpkin spice latte. So all the basic, uh, basic girls out there might be what you're looking for. Anyway, so let's check out the marketing guff that they've sent me. Check out the back. I think that's a pretty cool design, Verb Energy. Um, so what it says here is, welcome to the Verb family. Okay, so you may be wondering how this all works. We sent you four of our favorite flavors to try out. They're, a perfect, they're perfect for that silent morning moment, that afternoon meeting slump, or that pre-workout boost. What we're about to check them out for here. Um, <clears throat> and in seven days, we'll send you a text to see if you're ready for a full bag. Simply reply and tell us what you'd like to, tell us what you'd like to do. Order, wait, or grab a different flavor. Uh, the sky's the limit because a real human will reply on the other end and take care of you. No bots in the family here. Uh, oh, and in case you're wondering, Verb Bars are gluten-free, vegan certified, and non-GMO. If you can see it there, should have all the little logos down there. Okay, and now let's check out the bar itself. Um, like I said, pumpkin spice latte. It has uh, 
90 calories and the same amount of caffeine as a bottle of espresso or as a cup of espresso. Um, and that's what it says there. And it's uh, 22 grams. It's an energy bar. And then on the back here, it says 65 milligrams of caffeine as much as an espresso. Uh, can I get more? Just text us at 415 915 8372. It's super easy. Um, right there. Sorry, jump cut again. Like I was showing you. It says it's super easy. There's the number there. Um, take these headphones off. Um, so, yeah, that's all that on the back there. We'll check out what's under the flap. And we see the nutrition facts and the ingredients, and we'll go through all those. Um, again, it says it's gluten free, dairy free, and vegan right there. So let's go through it. Uh, nutrition facts are serving size is one bar and one bar is 22 grams. The amount per serving is 90 calories. Uh, fat is four grams. Saturated fat is zero. Trans fat is zero. Cholesterol is zero milligrams. Sodium is 25 milligrams. Oop. Sorry, I hope that doesn't make you a little dizzy. Um, then total carbs are 13 grams. Fiber is two grams. Total sugars are six grams, uh, which includes six added sugars. Um, protein is three grams. Vitamin D is zero, zero. Calcium is 2% of your daily intake. Uh, iron is 4% and potas, potassium. It's a little confused there, it says potas. So I wasn't sure, uh, potassium is 2%. And the ingredients are as follows. Gluten-free oats, organic agave, almond butter, uh, made from almonds, um, brown sugar, brown pumpkin seed, uh, sorry, pumpkin seed, uh, organic crisp brown rice, organic quinoa uh, crisp, vanilla extract, natural flavors, organic green tea caffeine, sea salt, uh, cinnamon, organic ginger, root powder, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves, uh, and it contains almonds. Uh, it's distributed by Verb Energy Inc. out of Lexington, Massachusetts, and um, and it says go to www.verbenergy.com, and that's where you can order it. Um, so let's uh, open it up and see what it's like. I'm gonna have to pause it real quick because I did not bring a tripod. All right, and we're back. Um, so this is the bar, as you can see. Looks kind of like an oatmeal cookie as a bar, uh, like a protein bar made of oatmeal, like a predominantly oatmeal cookie um, looking protein bar. Um, and it's got, uh, it's a little moist and it's about yay big, let's bring it back. It's about three quarter, two thirds of the length of my finger. Um, so it's pretty small. It will fit in your pocket, um, and you can see all the little bits of stuff that make it up. There we go, in focus. So you can see all the little oats and, what's that? Mare's eat oats and dozy oats and little lamb's eat ivy that's in there. Um, so let's take a bite of it, and I'll show you a cross section. There's a cross section. Cross section right there. So there's the cross section, and there we go. It's in frame now. It's uh, in focus. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you can very visibly see the oats that are in it. Um, flavor. Uh, it packs a pretty good uh, flavor to it. It packs a pretty good flavor to it. Um, the pumpkin spiceness, normally a lot of pumpkin spiceness is a little more muted when you get something that's pumpkin spice, but this actually, it, I don't wanna say it hits you in the face with flavor because that sounds bad, but it does, um, it does give you a nice quality flavor to it. Um, and let's see. The sweetness is there from the agave. Uh, it's not overpoweringly sweet, 
but it is enough to make you know that you are eating something that is sweet and uh, enjoy, give you a, a little bit of enjoyment while you're consuming it. A lot of these products um, that are just for energy, don't they don't necessarily care about how it tastes because um, they think you're just gonna bloop, throw, it in, throw it in the back of your throat, try to not hit your tongue and just get the energy and keep going. But like it said, this is for that early morning moment when it's nice outside and you just wanna sit on the porch and have a little snack uh, before you actually eat your breakfast um, or maybe have this as your breakfast. Um, so yeah, this, this is something that I would suggest doing, uh, getting. Um, so texture wise, uh, it's about like eating a really good uh, gooey oatmeal cookie right out of the oven without the heat of the oven, but the gooiness of a fresh cookie. Um, that's something I actually really enjoy. Uh, it's a little crumbly, um, so it could be, there is a chance that there could be problems, um, problems keeping it together in your bag or anything. But like anything that's uh, crumbly, just open the bag and throw it back then chew it, it then it, at that point it becomes kind of like a kind of like a granola bar type of thing um, the pumpkin the spice in there uh, isn't so much that it's hot I know when anybody sees spice on a thing they think hot I'm not gonna like this um, but if you've ever had pumpkin spice anything uh, you'll know that it's not really hot it's just kind of uh, like cinnamony um, and cinnamon's not really hot either unless we're talking about like cinnamon flavored candies or whiskeys or something, those are hot, but cinnamon itself is never usually really that hot. Um, so, and nutmeg, like, it's like nutmeg, um, spices like that. So, sorry about the jump cut again. Um, took another bite to just see how it crumbles in the mouth, the whole mouth feel, and it's, it's perfect. It's like a uh, really nice cookie. Um, if you're in the market for a energy bar, a protein bar, this has this. This definitely hits the spot. Um, but remember, it is kind of small. So I mean, it's it is 90 calories, um, but it's small. It's small and it packs a packs a good punch. It feels like it's hitting way above its weight class for how big it is compared to a lot of those other granola bars out there, um, energy bars, trail bars. Um, it feels like it's hitting way above its weight uh, quality wise. Um, and it, it also seems like it doesn't so much care about showing you the stuff while also showing you the contents of it because a lot of those cheaper bars tend to glue, not glue, but uh, basically glue uh, the stuff that's in it on top. So you have like that texture on top. Um, it seems like they don't care about trying to make convince you that it's healthy because they are confident enough in their bar and uh, to know for you to know that it's healthy. Um, and like I said, mouthfeel, kind of like eating an oatmeal cookie. If you've ever had an oatmeal cookie, Kind of get kind of gritty, kind of gets in your teeth, um, and the I think almonds that are in that I said were in it. You can kind of feel the different textures, and it feels really good in the mouth. Um, feels really good on the tongue, and yeah. So, like I was saying, um, would I buy this again? Or not like I was saying, but would I buy this again? Yes, I feel like this is a good uh, a good way to spend your money when you're trying to find something that's nice, compact, and is going to hit hit you hard with a little bit of energy, a little bit of flavor, and make it enjoyable all at the same time. Um, let's see the and it's it's better than something like some of those goos that are out there that just they don't really care about the flavor; they just are about getting you going again. This will get you going, and you'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, should you get it? Like I said, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, some kind of energy thing, and you actually want to enjoy it while you're eating it, 
definitely hit this up. Go to verbenergy.com and uh, order them. So the way it works is you go on there and you pay for shipping of a sample pack and they send you a sample of like four different flavors and then they send you a text message and they ask you which one would you like to uh, go with and uh, re-up. I kind of don't like that kind of food subscription model because I, I just I don't eat like that. Um, but I know a lot of people do. Um, a lot of people like Loot Crate. They like uh, Otaku Crate. They like uh, Hello Fresh or Blue Apron because it makes it where they don't have to think about doing it. It just arrives and you've got it. Um, and if you're into that, grab these up, go on their website, hit them up, and uh, I'll put a link in the description below and it's not an affiliate link. I'm not affiliated with anybody. They just send them to me and I thought I'd try it out, throw it on here. Um, anyway, with that, I'm probably going to hit up that treadmill right there uh, or and then the uh, squat machine, uh, leg machine, leg press machine. And But I'm gonna finish this first. While I finish this, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you've ever had a Verb Energy, had anything from Verb Energy, uh, or if you're somebody, and if you have, what flavor do you like? Um, and have you ever had any of these other kinds of energy bars, caffeinated bars, um, or if you like any of those other kind of trail bars, like, I don't know, Mo Morning, Mo Morning Valley? I, I'm not really sure all the names of them, because uh, I normally just buy goo. Um, but yeah, if you, do you like any of these other kinds of bars? What should I, what should I go try next? What should, besides that, what should I try next? Should I go do some kind of like, I don't know, food challenge? Should I try something that's not a food? Should I do something else? Um, let me know down in the comments below or just tell me how your day's going. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, with that, I'm gonna eat this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things YouTube people tell you to do or don't. That's fine with me. Um, anyway, hope you have a nice day. Catch you later. Bye.